Okay, we're live. Uh, we are actually in our homemade paint booth. Um, if it gets a little shaky or uh, bad, I don't like doing live videos. Everybody knows that. Um, we got Minnie the Body Shop girl. She's going to be the camera girl. And it is now time to get going on this project. This is our very first time using our brand new paint booth. There's our exhaust uh, system. I got my intake filters back over here. Minnie's going to explain all that. What we're doing is we're painting the interior on a 67 Camaro. Uh, and hopefully everything's going to work out. Now we did already paint the epoxy primer and it seemed like it worked out pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give the camera to Minnie. And uh, if it breaks up, just be patient. Okay. Microphone's over here. Okay. All right. Can every... Can everybody see us? Are we all here? Can you hear Minnie? Say yes, something. Yes, Pete. Good okay. Lord, we hear Pete all the time. Okay, come on over here. What we got... Hello? Yes, what do we got? We got we the got exhaust, exhaust box. There you go. Yeah, we got yeah. the exhaust box that I made. It's going to be in the full video set. You'll see that. I yeah, got a yeah, variable yeah. switch on it right here. Yep, so high and low and everything high in and between. Low. It, depends, it all depends on what the uh, wind temperature rating is. But what we're going to do, we're going to turn that on high. Um, I got two filters over here. No, that's, a, not, that's red paint on the side of Pete's face, though. I should have hit him earlier. Okay. Can I go ahead and explain this so we can get down the road? Yeah, please? go. Okay. Uh, we got these, I made these panels. You'll see that in the video. This is my intake filter system. It covers the windows. I can regulate how much intake pressure I got by the window itself. There you go. And I'm going to open it just a hair. It seemed like it was pretty good. I had to go ahead and open that one the same way. Yeah, so it makes it a cross draft booth. So it's a cross draft like this. Another thing we got is I already went ahead and sprayed the epoxy primer. It came out really nice. Yep, there you go. Mr. Otto, looking good. As soon as we get some red paint on it. So it's time to get red paint on it. Minnie's going to commentate, and hopefully things are going to work out. We got a mistake up here. Minnie was supposed to tape all these lights off with cellophane, and the tape's already falling off. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Not really happy about that. Wow, wow, wow. And the reason that I take these, I want to show everybody, we got LED lighting. These are explosion proof. They're weatherproof, everything proof. Well, these lights, I don't want to have to. The uh, only proof they're not is gathering up overspray. Oh yeah, overspray. So I put silicone on them to cover it. And the reason I did that is because we don't know when these things are going to be discontinued. And to get one of these covers costs 45 bucks. Yep. Okay, let's go. It's a lot better. It's almost healed up completely. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the fan on. Now Here we go. going to walk outside. And we're going to show you on my exhaust. She's going to explain to you why I made it that way and what we got on the floor to keep over spray off. Um, this is not a whole paint job. This is just the dash and interior. Hey, Matt. We didn't wet the floor on this job. We didn't do anything. Let's go ahead. We're going to turn our oh, fan on. There it goes. There it goes. Sounds almost just like the one in Louisville. Not quite as loud. Alright, red paint, here we come. Otto, I hope you're watching. Because it's the beginning of the end of your car. <laughs> oh, hell. Let me put my mask on. Alright. But I can't really talk very well with a mask on, but I'll try. Alright. Negative on the biopsy. They said it was a callus. All right, we got red paint going. All right, I'm gonna come back here where I get very much that red paint, man. We like that color. What do y'all think about that color? Looking good. All right. 
Well, I don't see much overspray in the air yet. Looking good so far. Now, when he put the first coat on, lipstick red, yeah, I know, right? When he put the first coat on the uh, epoxy primer, we only had one of the uh, windows open and it got a little heavy on the overspray. So we decided to open up this second one here and uh, it's uh, drawing much better now. Kind of awkward painting inside. Check out. Okay, now you see we got some a little bit of overspray going, but it'll clear out really fast. Yeah. Alright, that's what I was gonna say. Let's go outside and see what's happening. Oh. Whew! Alright. Here we go, here is the outside view of our exhaust box. And as you can see, Pete put this little deflector on there so that it won't uh, get all over the cement. But as you can see, the filters are doing a really good job and there's no overspray coming outside, which is a good thing. So it's working like it should. We had to put a little bit of tape just to cover that little bit of gap because the ground is slightly slanted and the box is not. Yeah. So we covered up the gaps and looking good. You can smell it from there, Studebaker. Yeah, I know, I can smell it too. But at least I got a good view. So let's go back inside. We'll put my mask back on. See what's going on. Woo. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty clear in here. Not a lot of overspray in the air. Hey, Fiji Islands. I wish I was there with you. Look at that, man. I don't remember what color this is. I don't remember if it's Porsche or, or Viper or Corvette. I don't know. It's one of those expensive reds. Dodge Viper. Dodge Viper. Oh, it's a Viper red. Borleo red color. I don't know. Viper red. Looking good, too. Now, you might be wondering why Pete's not painting the floors and all the other parts in there, and that's because that is going to be painted with Pour 15. So it's going to be black. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. It's almost dinner time. That's right. Hey, Chris, what's up? He's getting a workout on this paint job. Plumber's crack, I know. Don't look at her. You'll be blind for the next two hours. Stars and bars on the roof. I don't know about that. All right, we're going to get out. Vapors, yeah, that's for sure. I got my mask on, though. Let's go in that door. Whew. 
Red arms tonight, yeah, buddy. Whew. Okay. So, uh, I don't know if I'm really happy with it or not. Painting an interior is. Uh, Bandit, I don't uh, think that stimulus check is going to quite cover a paint job. Can I talk now? Go ahead. I don't know if I'm happy with the paint booth. I think I would have been better off buying a paint booth and basically setting my shop up like Dallas. Yeah, well, I think you I got way too to much me. money in this exotic bullshit that I did. Yep. And it's just, you know, I don't like it, okay? I really don't like it. Yep, but you're going to have to live with it now. So uh, we got our exhaust, exhaust fan working. Um, I'm going to go in there and turn it off in a minute. I'll go ahead and turn my heater on. It's actually about 40 degrees out here and cold. Uh, so I'll turn the heater on. Now, one thing about that room, I can use my heater in it, and the heater heats it up in like five minutes. It's 80 degrees. Oh, yeah. So insulation did good. You need to watch the video set on this to learn how I did it. But right now, I'm still iffy-iffy on it. I think that the cross-flow exhaust is working very good. What did you think? Yeah, I thought it was working really good. It was working pretty good. Yeah. Um, the overspray was exiting very clearly. And, yeah. and I mean, it seems like it's going to work. What we're going to do, how many minutes are we in on this? Uh, 11, 12 minutes. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. I'm coming back in a couple hours. We're going to look at the finished product. Um, it's going to take two or three hours to finish that out. We're going to have to wait like, you know, 45 minutes between each coat of clear. And uh, when we come back, we're going to look it over on part two. All right, everybody. Like he said, we will see you in just a couple of hours. And uh, that's it for now. All right. You don't know how to turn that off. No, I don't. Okay. Okay, everybody tell Minnie thank you. She did a great Bye, job. Everybody. And we'll be back in a couple hours. Part two.